What's your take? I used to be a lawyer. I used to teach EU law. I've negotiated treaties. <laughs> uh, and ask yourself this question. If this agreement was as legally binding as we are given to believe, why would the 28 member states ever go through the pain of treaty negotiations? They've got to be different. Otherwise, you wouldn't bother about these things. And it's very interesting that the Prime Minister is using his words very carefully, both to his treaty changes and also to the effect of ever closer union. Within his own narrow definition, he is right, except that the European Court of Justice doesn't work that way. It's not a British common law court. They also have within their remit uh, a duty to further deeper integration. It's fundamentally so a federalist court. It's, it's a different court which also doesn't have the kind of political checks and balances British courts have got. So it's, it's the classic British story with Europe. We look at the thing, we only half understand it tell half the story and draw the wrong conclusion. So the Prime Minister who promised us fundamental treaty changes in his Bloomberg speech, because he knew that unless it's a treaty change, it will only be taken into consideration, he now realises he can't get it. And you mentioned Denmark. Very interesting. 80 times now, the Danish provisions have been overruled. Well, that was my point to you, and you denied that. The, the, the agreement the Danes thought they had, in the end, the European Court have overruled them. I don't know the exact figure, Gisela Stewart may, may, may well be around 80, but it turned out not to be as cast iron as the Danes thought. That's apparent. If you don't only have to read the Danish media to find that out now. What I don't know, but I don't quite understand, though, what is, in a sense, what you're, you're driving at, which is what we have here is we have the maximally legally powerful agreement that, 28 member mm. states can achieve without uh, changing the treaties and within that maximally powerful legal agreement between 28 member states there is very high up a provision that treaty changes will be made mm. to incorporate the effect of that right. agreement but we know there will be no you, treaty you, change you, in this but, decade but un unless that unless they happen you, know, you, you mentioned professor dashwood and mm -hmm. he's he, but Pierre is uh, who is the legal advisor to the European institutions, said it wouldn't be bound. Our last court, uh, judge to the court mm. actually said, until it is a treaty, we cannot even promise that it will be binding. Yes, they can take note, but what the Prime Minister gives the impression is that this cannot be changed.